What's up guys, Nolan here and welcome to Labs. After watching this video, you should know all of the landmarks and exits along with a sufficient understanding of the Labs location in its entirety. Labs is a three-story underground secure facility with the best loot in the game and is different than any other map because insurance does not work down there. Any gear you lose will not be recovered unless a friend brings it out with them. You will also need to have a Labs access key card on you in order to enter it. There are no scavs in Labs, only raiders and players, so every fight will be tougher than usual. In terms of total size, it will only take a normal strength level player a couple of minutes to get absolutely anywhere on the map if moving freely. Spawns can be a little wonky sometimes and are dangerous all the time. Fully expect somebody to be watching every corner until you get used to the player tendencies when it comes to spawn camping. Now for the extracts, of which there are seven. Three elevators which need to be turned on by a power switch, two garage entrances which need to be opened with a power switch, a sewage pipe, and a ventilation shaft. The vent requires you not to be wearing a backpack and is normal from that point but for all the other extracts, you need time and hopefully enough ammunition to get out. Every single one of the other extracts will alert the entire facility to your presence and send raiders towards you if there are any left. The easiest in my opinion would be the sewage conduit where you just need to hit the button right next to it and then wait about 90 seconds until you can exit. There are two garage gates that you can use to exit, but they need to be activated by the panel in a room close by and you also need to be very careful of raiders on the other side of the door once they're open. The three elevators have three separate power buttons in the basement that must be activated before you can call the elevator itself. Once you call it, you have to wait for it to show up, then you can get in, hit the button inside, the doors will close behind you, and you'll be out of there. Now for the landmarks. Like I said before, there are three main floors between the basement first and second floors. The first and second floors point like an arrow, so we're going to call that direction north. There are four color-coded sections of labs, and you can find maps in the game that tell you where you are, so we're going to stick to them. Moving from north to south, we have the red section with the yellow section directly to the west. Then south of those, we have the orange section with the blue section directly to the east. The green section fills up the south of the map and mostly the southwest of the first and second floors. There are several major staircases cases, hallways, and large rooms to be able to figure out where you are at. The yellow and blue sections hold the garage door exits and are easily told apart by the shelving in the rooms themselves. The blue section is the warehouse with loads of blue shelving while the yellow is the parking area with loads of cars. The red section is administration with offices, a food court, gyms, and etc. The basement portion of the red section is mostly open halls with some electrical rooms. The orange section I like to call tech where there's a lot of makeshift production cubicles and a dome with some kind of toxic waste in it. The basement portion of of the orange section is also a lot of electrical and generator rooms and then we have the green section which is the medical portion of the map this is where you find all the doctor's offices filled with examination rooms chemical protection mop suits and quarantine areas the basement portion of the green section is more industrial and electrical area but is very dark and cramped compared to the orange and the red when it comes to getting lost you'll want to look around for maps first because they literally show you where you are if there are no maps then pay attention to the area if it's cramped with lots of piping, you are in the basement. If it's a well-lit part of the basement, then you're in the red section. If it's not well-lit, then you're either in or very close to the green section. When looking down the long hallways in the basement, you'll be able to find your way around by looking at the walls. The well-lit long hallway intersects with the orange long hallway, and you can find major staircases to your front and left when standing at the intersection and looking down the orange hall. For the green section of the basement, you can find stairs very easily at both ends. The red and orange areas for both floors are so open, it's very easy to tell them apart by just looking around. The red section is again, just like its basement, very well lit with a wooden conference area in the middle and lots of plants. The orange section is darker and filled with makeshift workshops, equipment, and that toxic dome that we were talking about earlier. There is also a large glass office in the middle of the orange section with a locked room. All in all, Labs is the most difficult location in the game, and it will take you a long time to get used to it from both the map knowledge and the skill level perspectives, but in time, you will get it. The last thing I'll mention here is that Labs unfortunately draws the worst kinds of players in the community, so if you find yourself having a bad couple raids with, let's just say, questionable deaths, I would suggest that you pick a different map and try your luck there. 
If you want to learn anything about Escape from Tarkov in this same short, clear, no BS fashion, then you can check out my EFT Like a Pro playlist or my live streams. If this video helped you out, you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. For those who lack the critical information, you can come by my live streams to ask me personally or leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you guys at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.